I've known Michel Deon for more than 30 years, ever since the 1980s when I first translated a novel of his. And all that time, he's been a very good friend, and I really think he is an outstanding novelist. Recently, I've had the chance to translate some more of his work, and today I've come to his house in Ireland to talk to him about my new translation of his novel, Your Father's Room. Your Father's Room is a novel, but it contains so many autobiographical elements. Your father dying when you were very young, you're moving to Monaco. I wonder whether we can call it a novel, whether we should call it a, an autobiographical novel or even non-fiction. I mean, it's not a novel, it's a real thing. And um, uh, I had these images in me since I was a child. Uh, and there are things which sometimes, you know, the memory is a strange thing forget a lot and sometimes remembers um, things you never expected them to understand. At that age I, I was extremely attentive and I remember everything. I remember the, then we changed life and my father had a, a very important job. He was a um, praised man in the Principality of Monaco. He was invited by the, the, the Prince uh, Louis. And uh, we, we, he had a, a car and a chauffeur, and, and we had a, a valet de pied in our apartment for us, and, and an Italian cook. I mean, suddenly, uh, he was promoted, uh, and uh, of course he was a very respected man because he re represented France there, and uh, mostly he was uh, the advisor of the prince. Sometimes I got uh, uh, my mom, my mother had a call from the, the palace on the, on the rock. And I uh, said, uh, Prince Rainier would like, the, and Princess Antoinette would like uh, to play it today. Can he come? It seems to me perfectly natural. You know? <laughs> Edouard's mother, Blanche, has an affair which Edouard witnesses. And uh, because she knows he's witnessed it, they thereafter have a shared secret together. Can you explain the importance of that to you in the novel? Well, I mean, um, it was uh, discreet, but I mean, uh, visible. And when you love uh, somebody as I loved my mother, uh, you want to keep her, you know, for yourself, which I soon understood and that uh, it was a bit of an exchange. I mean, I wouldn't say anything, and she, she wouldn't. The first years are capital moment of a, of a child. And mostly when he discovers the reality of things. Uh, uh, my mother may have had a lover, lover at that time, but my father had a mistress, and so I mean, the, and it was evident, it didn't shock me, uh, and, uh, but it instructed me to don't care too much for that sort of thing, care only for the things that happen to you. The souvenir of your parents, uh, uh, <coughs> how they behaved. I don't think, no, no, if uh, parents were both right, but uh, I mean, I owe them uh, what I am. I, again, this is a novel about growing up, and many of your novels seem to have 
growing up in some way as a theme. And do you think there's a part of you that hasn't left your childhood behind? And that even though you've reached the age you have, there's still something mischievous, something of the child about you? Well, uh, if I think I'm, I'm grown up, I mean, I, I have a wife who can tell me, put me in the right direction immediately. <laughs> when I was 13 and my father died, uh, uh, great freedom, which made me a bit different in, at school and among my friends. You know? There was no father to uh, forbid something. Uh, uh, it was just my mother who was very good, very kind, and very wise, who stopped me, I mean, talked to me very sensibly. And do you enjoy the act of writing? Actually sitting down in your chair and uh, putting words on paper, which you do in longhand, no computers. Uh, do you enjoy the, the activity? Well, yes, uh, no, no, I mean, you're uh, perfectly right. I'm sort of enjoying this. Uh, I mean, as if I jump on another planet. You know, where I'm the master, <laughs> I do what I want, the difficulties. I'm a democrat with myself. <laughs> well, you know, there are moments you're pleased, and the other you think, no, that's no good. I have to go through again. But you have certain illuminations sometimes about your own work uh, uh, that you didn't see when you were writing it. About La Chambre de Tempère, the, your father's room, have you reread this book? And if you have, what did you think? Well, uh, you know, it's a good question. I reread it a few days ago. Uh, and uh, I was surprised. Uh, what surprised uh, you? Uh, may I say something enormous? I think it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> and when I wrote it, I wrote it for my pleasure. I didn't ever think I would uh, be published. Michel, thanks so much for inviting me in here to talk about your new novel your father's wrong.